Hey guys, this is Samuel Skeek, and today I want to talk about Apple. In case you haven't heard, there is a rumor that Apple is going to get rid of the AC adapter with the new iPhone. And obviously they're going to try to spin this in two ways. One, that it's brave somehow, or two, that it's environmentally friendly. I've been upset at Apple for some time. Um, I haven't bought an Apple product since the iPhone 7, and I don't really plan on buying any Apple products in the future. I used to be a huge Apple fan, a big Apple fan. Back when Steve Jobs was still with us, I felt Apple was one of the most innovative, interesting companies to ever exist. And unfortunately, Apple has gone out of its way under Tim Cook to become what people used to stereotype about Apple. Apple used to be seen by non-Apple users as basically the equivalent of Louis Vuitton, okay? Or even worse, like a movement watch. Basically, a, a uh, product of lower quality that is used that has used marketing and image to hike, hype it up to high prices. And that wasn't true with the older Apple products. I don't care what people say, the older Apple products took lots of risks, lots of engineering and interesting ideas to deliver high quality products that may have not been the best spec sheets in the world, but delivered an experience that you couldn't get elsewhere and were always extremely high quality. Apple has degraded in quality significantly. Uh, the Mac OS is a buggy mess now. Um, it, uh, it's not the tower, you know, it used to tower over its competition in just high quality and ease of use. That's no longer the case. Windows has caught up and uh, Chrome OS has helped uh, eliminate at the lower end. So like Windows and Chrome OS are high quality, non-glitchy products and uh, it's very hard to justify somebody purchasing a Mac because of Mac OS. And that used to not be the case. It used to be the opposite. It used to be like, okay, this, this hardware may be needlessly expensive and uh, maybe not the highest quality in the world, but the software is so good that you'll want to use it. Now it's the opposite. Now the hardware is actually really pretty up to par, uh, especially in build quality and stuff compared to its competition. Uh, and, and, you know, it's comparable to, to uh, products in the same price range. But the OS now is, like, lacking. The OS now holds it back. And I, I never thought I would say that. Um, Apple, since the iOS, iOS has uh, took over, has let a lot of products deteriorate. And they're making decisions like this uh, core decision that is just garbage. It's not true, okay? If they come out and say it's because of the environment, it's not true. It's not true, and they're lying, and I don't like it, okay? You know, for as as much of a jerk that Steve Jobs could come off of, you know, come off as, at least he told the truth. You know, I'm doing this because I like it this way, and I don't care what you think. That's what he would say, you know? I, I like it this way. I don't care what you think. Those other experiences, they're garbage to me. I don't like them. Uh, in the case of Apple today, they're just lying to you. When when it came to the headphone jack, they just said courage. They used courage as their reasoning, which was such garbage. And they're now going to say, I can almost guarantee it when it comes to the removal of the power cord in the iPhone box that is for environmental reasons. That is crap, Apple. If you all cared about the environment, you would design cables that last. Now that's my biggest problem. They're going to make assumptions that people have kept the cables from their previous iPhones. I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, but the cables from previous iPhones always deteriorate and, and just get nasty and break, okay? I've never kept an original Apple iPhone cable for longer than like eight months. 
don't, I don't know what they use and the rubber they use or something, but it deteriorates. It gets nasty. It yellows. It breaks down. And even on their higher quality products, like this MacBook uh, cable here, even over time, just yellows. As you can see here, it's yellowing, turning this nasty yellow color, and then it bunches up. Like the cable bunches up and uh, just over time deteriorates. And this is a higher quality cable than you get on the iPhone uh, adaption, adapter cables. And, you know, they've been cheaping out on some of these accessories for a while. Like if you buy a MacBook nowadays, you don't even get this extension cable anymore. You just get the one that comes and it has two prongs. So you don't even get a surge protector to protect your, you know, insanely expensive laptop. You don't get a surge protector on it. You don't get a long cable. You get a that would you know help you plug it into um, an outlet and, and uh, not take up another space. You get a huge brick that they want you to stick into the wall. And Apple has been just cheaping out on stuff more and more and more. And the pro and the software is not getting any better. And the hardware is getting minimally better. And you know to me. It's just it's just a BS. If, like I said, if you want if you want to improve the environment, make cables that are better. You know, that have like braided you know braided cables that have you know like I've seen a lot of third party cables and those are the ones that last longer to me and the ones I buy that are basically braided. Um, I don't know if it's metal, but you know a braided material that keeps the cable lasting a lot longer. How about uh, making it so that you could replace the battery in your phone so that people don't have to buy a new phone when the battery breaks and then have to e-recycle the old phone which takes a lot of uh, you know a lot of energy uh, to, to recycle and hurts the environment there's lots of things they could do to their current products to make it environmentally friendly way more so than removing the, the cable but they won't do that because it will it will result in less sales of the phone. That's why they won't do that. So they'll make other cuts like this to meet these environmental standard goals that they've set for themselves so that they can claim to be progressive on some of these goals that they've set. So they'll remove this and they'll help them reach those goals so that they can stick that onto their investors and say, look, we're being environmentally friendly. And they'll also get the added benefit of selling more cables because people who go to the Apple store and want to use the product out of the gate, aren't they not going to have time to go shop for a third party cable? They'll just buy the overly priced cable at the Apple store that'll break in a couple months. And, it'll, and then when they have to go and buy a third party cable online because that one broke so quickly, it won't be on Apple's hands. And it's just a bunch of crap, man. And I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of Apple lying. I'm sick and tired of the tech press excusing them. It's not true. It's not... The, the, if they replace the cable, if they take out the cable, it is not because of the environment. It's not more environmentally friendly. It won't be. It will probably result in a worse environment. If they want to improve it, make higher quality braided cables to include with the iPhone and make the battery replaceable and make it so that you could actually repair your products. How about that? How about you make your products easier to repair so that people keep them for longer? It'll result in less sales and they know it. I mean, one reason why they uh, have tried to kill the iPhone 6, in case you don't know, the iPhone 6 is the highest selling iPhone of all time and it is the first iPhone under Tim Cook and because of this iPhone they've had so many headaches because the product has lasted so long and they've tried desperately to kill that product and the, and you're gonna see like in a couple of years because I still think it's like 15% of the market of the iPhone market is the iPhone 6 even though they've stopped making updates for it or something they're gonna try to find some way to kill it like Microsoft tried to kill Internet Explorer except it's gonna be for hardware and uh, the fact of the matter is, there's several ways they could do environmentally friendly stuff. You know what another one is? How about you put USB-C instead of a lightning cable in your adapter? Huh, 
maybe that would actually justify removing the cable because everything comes with USB-C. And they won't have to rely on proprietary buying from uh, people like Apple in order to, you know, get their cable. They won't do that either. Obviously, this is this is a, a way to transition into an all wireless charging phone, more than likely. I think that's where they're going with this, and this is just like the transitional phase to get people used to not having a cable with their product. But I, I assume it's going to take like two or three generations of them doing this. Um, but it's crap. I thought it was crap when Nintendo did it. I think it's crap when Apple does it. It's not cool. It makes uh, first buyer's experiences awful. Uh, and the environmental benefits of it are outweighed by the fact that people are going to have to buy it elsewhere. Like I said, once again, I'm going to sum it up once again. Apple, you want to be environmentally friendly? Change the port to USB-C. Make batteries reusable and make it easy to repair your phone. And include cables that are high quality instead of this crappy rubber, rubbery crap that you put into their boxes. Will that increase the price of your phone? Probably. But so be it. You want to be environmentally friendly? Take the loss. Samuel out.